Hello everyone. Chapter one talks about overview of financial management and the financial environment. The topics in this chapter include forms of business organization, objective of the firm, maximize shareholders' wealth, determinants of fundamental value, financial security, financial markets, and institutions. Business organization from startups to a major corporation include three major different forms. First is sole proprietorship, second partnership, and corporation. Proprietorship and partnership have advantages, for example, ease of formation, subject to fair regulations, no corporate income taxes. However, the disadvantages include limited life, unlimited liability, and difficult to raise capital to support growth. On the other hand, a corporation also have advantages and disadvantages. The advantages include unlimited life, easy transfer of ownership, limited liability, ease of raising capital. The disadvantages include double taxation and the cost of setup and report filing. For a corporation, two problems about agency problem and corporate governance. The agency problem is managers may act in their own interest and not on behalf of owners. Corporate governance is the set of rules that control a company's behavior towards its directors, managers, employee, shareholders, creditors, and customers, competitors, and community. Corporate governance can help control agency problem. What should be management's primary objective? The primary objective should be shareholders' wealth maximization, which translate to maximizing the fundamental stock price. Should the firms behave ethically? Yes. Do firms have any social responsibilities? Yes. Shareholders are also members of society. What three aspects of cash flows affect an investment's value? One amount of expected cash flows, the bigger the better. Timing of the cash flow streams, sooner is better. And last, risk of the cash flows, less risk is better. Free cash flows are the cash flows that are available or free for distribution to all investors including stockholders and creditors. Free cash flow equals to sales revenue minus operating cost minus operating taxes minus required investment in operating capital. What is the weighted average cost of capital? Or WAC? WAC is the average rate of return required by all of the company's investors. WAC is affected by capital structure, interest rate, risk of the firm, and the investor's overall attitude towards risk. The intrinsic value is the sum of all the future expected cash flows when converting into today's dollar value. In the following picture, 
you can see the determinants of intrinsic value, the big picture. What are some financial institutions? Financial institutions include commercial banks, investment bank, saving and loans, mutual saving banks, and credit unions, life insurance companies, mutual funds, ETFs, pension funds, hedge funds, and a private equity fund. What are some type of market? The market can be classified into different types of market by their assets. For example, physical assets and future and financial asset, spot market versus future market, money market versus capital markets, primary market versus secondary markets. Premium market are new issues, for example, initial public offering, IPO, or seasonal equity offering. The key factor is issuer receive the proceeds from the sale. Secondary market for existing owners sells to another party. Existing firms do not have received proceeds and is not directly involved. 